What's up, everyone? Uh, it's Andrew uh, here with the live today. Uh, I just got out from the gym. I definitely did not eat enough before the gym. Struggling to do back day. <clears throat> I got through it, but um, yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Didn't fall asleep till like 4:30 in the morning last night because I had to close at work because someone didn't show up. Ridiculous. But um. Yeah, I figured I hadn't done a plant-based live video in a while, and um, since I didn't have a phone that was working, I had to wait for like a week and a half to get a new phone, and I did. Hey, what's up, Tyon? Madeline, how's it going? Nelson, what's up? Um, yeah, so I haven't done a plant-based live in a while. I'm still on it. Uh, almost finished with it. <clears throat> well, what is it, the 8th, 9th today? I still have till my birthday, which is on the 18th. Tyon knows, because that's his birthday, too. Um... But yeah, I figured that I would uh, do an update on my plant-based. Um, I've been pretty solid with it. Uh, there have definitely been times here and there when I had craved some sugar, craved some candy, craved just something a little bit different. Um, the only time I've had one meat thing while I've been on this plant-based was uh, we had to do a food tasting at work, and I'm the expo, which means I have to know what everything tastes like. So I tasted a piece of calamari. Um, but other than that, yes, I'm trying to be as honest as I can with this. Um, I definitely had a Milky Way bar the other day when I was just in the worst mood possible. And I think my sugar was just like lower than it's ever been. And uh, that was definitely a lifesaver that day. Uh, today, what I'm having, let's see if I can switch cameras on. Oh, I can. I just went and got a Chipotle bowl. And no, that's not meat. I got the Sofritas. Um, I know Madeline, I know you were veggie, vegetarian for a while, right? And, um, so, so, uh, the Chipotle bowl, they are now doing a vegan option and you can do the sofritas. It don't, you don't have to just do guac and the, uh, sauteed veggies or whatever. The sofritas is like a, uh, I guess so it's like a, uh, some kind of soy bean tofu or something like that. It's actually really good though, really flavorful, um, really tasty, really filling as well. I was definitely not sold on it at first, but um, oh yeah, since the fifth grade. Okay, yeah, so you know all about Sofritas then. Yeah, Tyon, these bowls are like unreal. Like they have been my saving grace during this last like week and a half of plant based. Um, I've probably had like three of them. Definitely not the smartest financial move to just keep going and getting Chipotle bowls, but uh, sometimes when you don't have time to prep food. You just have to find options that work. And so I do it without cheese, ugh, without sour cream. Um, what else? Yeah, so I try to do the no dairy and the no like gluten as well while I'm doing plant-based, which is super rough, but I can feel it. I can see the results. It's great. My face is cleared up so much. I have a video that I'm going to post about how bad my face looked at one point. It looked like I seriously got beat up and then just like smacked with like like a, I don't even know, like smacked with like a wood panel or something like that. Like my face was just red. It was just like a beard of red and I just could not handle it. I made a video of it, but I was too embarrassed to post it. I'll post it hopefully after this plant base is over, but it was ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I could definitely tell that my body feels good. Um, uh, I'm definitely missing like protein shakes cause, uh, yeah, such a bro, uh, working out. And then having a protein shake after. Even the vegan protein shakes weren't really sitting with me that well. Um, they, uh, I think they were kind of breaking out my face as well. There's just some ingredients in there. Like not all plants are going to be perfect. That is one thing I'm learning. Not all plants are going to be like going to sit well with you. Uh, my uncle's allergic to strawberries. Um, someone else I think is allergic to like bananas or something. So uh, you just have to figure out what's going to work for you and what doesn't. And hey, maybe what works for you is chicken and steak and all that stuff. And uh, maybe dairy and gluten. But for me, oh, what's up, Chuck's son? Um, <clears throat> for me, dairy definitely doesn't work. Uh, at the food tasting, we tasted some ice cream. And I tasted a little bit of it. And my stomach hurt the rest of the day. So uh, dairy is definitely a no-go for me. Carbs, I try to do good carbs like brown rice instead of just like white bread, you know, like white bread's so great, but it's so terrible for you. And um, and I'll do like beans, like in this bowl here, I have, uh, what do I have, the sofritas, then I have pinto beans, um, I have brown rice, so all good things that are good for your body that sit well with your body, at least they sit well for me, so... 
Um, but yeah, I've just learned so much during this plant base um, of how much I hate eating clean, but how much I love how I feel and how I look with it, and um, just how much I know what it's doing for my body and my stomach and my gut. And um, I just think, uh, you know, if you if you had the chance to try it, you should definitely try it. Um, I don't know if I'll cut out meat all the way. Uh, I definitely crave chicken. I definitely crave a good steak, especially working at a restaurant where they have high-end food. Um, no, I didn't quit, quit meat altogether, Chuck. I, uh, I'm just doing a 30 days plant-based. So I guess technically for the month, yeah, I haven't done meat for the month. And uh, it's been crazy, but um, my girlfriend's actually uh, all the way plant-based, like not just doing a challenge, like for real, for real, which is awesome. It's really tough, but really good for you. Um, but yeah, I've just been trying to do that challenge for myself, and there are options that you can have, and you just have to figure out a way to do it and figure out what works for you. So for me, what I've learned over this cleanse is that, you know, yeah, dairy has never sat well with me, but I can see 100% that it's really not going to sit well with me ever. And um, good carbs you can have. I realize that brown rice is a good carb. You know, I've always kind of had a thing against rice. I don't know what it was. I guess I never really liked Asian food that much. And I've always been more of like a potatoes kind of guy or like, um, you know, uh, I don't know. Not Or white rice was you know, not, not a thing that I really liked to eat as much either. But um, as long as you find the stuff that's good, like I'll cut up potatoes and cook them in coconut oil or like I'll eat the brown rice with the bowl with the sofritas and the veggies and all that. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a really eye opening thing for me. Um, definitely have to eat a lot more, which is which is, you know, it sounds like a good thing. But sometimes when it's not things that you crave, it's not something that you want to do. Like for me, when it was burgers and pizzas and all that, like my whole life. I would want to eat stuff like that all the time. Uh, oh, what's up, Dean and Ben? Um, yeah, and, like, I would want to go and, like, do the 50-piece. We would go and do 50-piece chicken nugget challenges at McDonald's because that's just how we would do it. But, um, yeah, on this cleanse, it's been it's been good. I realized that, uh, you know, I, I feel better when I eat enough. I definitely, you definitely have to eat enough. I realize that at work every other night probably when I don't prep. Meal prepping is so important. I haven't prepped properly a lot of times, and last night was one of those days where the guy that was supposed to close at the restaurant didn't show up, so it made me have to stay an hour and a half later, and I didn't prep my meals. I didn't make my smoothie. I didn't make my meal. So I usually bring a smoothie, and then I'll usually bring a meal as well of like brown rice, bro broccolini, cauliflower, uh, veggie patty, something like that, and uh, that usually gets me through the whole night, but I didn't do that, and I thought, ah, maybe, you know, I could eat. Oh, what's up, Mal? Um, I thought maybe I could like coast it and eat, maybe get like a kale salad or something at work. And I did, and it did not hold me over at all. And it was just like, Ugh. but you get, you figure it out and, uh, you get smarter about it. And those are the things you learn, lessons you learn that, you know, if you don't want to be hangry or angry, you prep. If you, um, want to make sure that you have high energy levels the entire time, entire day, then you figure out what works for you, what gives you the most energy, and what you can eat. So, this Chipotle bowl that I just got with Sofritas is going to get me through the day. Uh, well, not the whole day, not the whole day. <laughs> I could probably eat like six of them today. It'll get me through the next couple hours, then I could prep up some other meals, prep up my smoothie, so when I go to work tonight for the sixth day in a row or whatever it is, I'll be ready. I won't be as angry because last night I got super hangry and I was super snippy and I was super complainy and I don't like to be that way. But you realize that's what happens when you don't eat and when you lack nutrition and when you lack uh, good sleep. So, uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Thanks, Madeline. I appreciate it. It's uh, It's been a challenge, but it's good. It's uh, been challenging not only with just food, but like whenever you're changing your diet and your mental state is off, out of whack, and just a lot of my like routine and my schedule and stuff has been out of whack. So, I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to keep trying it. I have, what, 10 more days, I think, of this. And I think it's going to be a good lifestyle change for me. Uh, maybe not cutting it all the way out. Definitely um, probably going to add in some other kind of like meat protein, like chicken or something in. But because um, I've been craving it. On my birthday, I'm going to get a big old juicy burger. I don't even care. It's probably going to crush my stomach. But uh, oh, thanks, Chuck. I appreciate that. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Um... But yeah, so that's that's what's going on with me. That's an update on my plant base. I had a little live last. I had a live at 3 a.m. last night because I needed to get that off my chest after that shift. That was just so awful, so awful. 
But uh, I'm going to repost this on uh, YouTube, my Facebook page, on Twitter, all that. And I'm back back to doing lives. And I'm going to start, I have a couple things I'm going to get in the works. Uh, I'm going to start an interview series. And I'm going to, um, I'm still trying to work on this business thing on the side. So good things in the work, but uh, just be ready for them. They're coming. And uh, yeah, that's what's up with me. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. If you haven't got anything done yet, Go get something done. Go get something done for your mental health, your physical health, your wealth, um, your relationships, all that. And what I always say at the end of the video for my boy Jay Class, hates when I say it. Let's get after it. All right. Everyone have a great day.